Thank you. Very briefly, on behalf of the Commentator, I wish to welcome you all here today. There's people here from the political sphere, from sporting bodies, there's media here, there's photographers here, there's club members here, but especially you, the club members, you, the members of the public, you, the volunteers who made this dream possible. We're here to acknowledge your contribution here today. And I think when people will see the facility all the way around, they will realize what amount of work went into that. It's actually not only just a new facility, it's actually a revamped the old facility as well, and you will see that as we went around. But it couldn't be done without all the strands of society working together from the political side, the funding, the workers, the volunteers, and executive development working together to make this possible. And I think this development is testing you really to the people of Kilcommon, to their generosity, their dedication, and their willingness to get behind it. And I think it's indicative of the respect that the GEA has in this parish of Kilcommon. So without further ado, I'm going to have a number of speakers, and they're going to give you a bit of the background and greater detail in relation to the development. And the first of those is Paddy Healy, who is chairman of the Development and Finance Committee that is against the whole lot. Okay, Paddy. Take it out. Um, Mayor, Minister, Deputy, Elected Councillors, MEP, Fathers, Chairman of the Kerry County Board, uh, the Common GA members, friends, and press. It is a great honour for me, as, as Chairman of the Common GA Development and Finance Committee, to present to you the project journey of these magnificent state of the art facilities delivered over the last five years. I was thinking yesterday of the journey, and the following sums it up for me. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. And I hold truth that saying is here today. The road started back in early 2016 when Yuji approached me for a chat. Little did I think, Yuji, that chat would last for five years. But yes, it did. I'm a firm believer that in order to achieve success, a leader needs to surround themselves with better people, with better skill sets. And so, in 2016, I went on the journey to put together a development finance committee. From the outset, the key underpinning principle for us as a development committee was to develop an inclusive, accessible facility for our playing members, from academy level to senior teams, our social members, and all in our own wider community, regardless of their age, size, ability, or disability. And that was very, very important from the very outset. We wanted facilities that would deliver health and well-being for the entire community of Kilcommon and for Kilcommon GA Club to be a place where no one is left out. We started the development process with consultations and meetings with every stakeholder in the club and other organisations in the wider community. In 2017, we purchased some ground from St. Brindle's Trust to broaden the possibility of what we could develop. In the same year, the development works of the new training pitch commenced. We completed all the design works for the overall project in-house. The club applied for planning permission for the building and walking track. We developed and designed a fundraising strategy applied for sports capital and Munster Council funding and launched the project which many of you were at on the night. Our decision at the outset was that no money would be expended until it was at hand and that is exactly what happened all through the project. In late 2018 we ran a tender process for a main contractor and were delighted that Dublin's Engineering won this process to become the main contractor. More on the Dublin family in a minute. In June 2019, we broke ground on this main building to deliver what you see today. Personally, I'm a big believer and lover of figures and numbers, so I want to tell you the rest of the story by numbers. I'm delighted to announce today for the following for the first time. The project value was 1.2 million euro. Bank borrowing for the project, zero euro. Alone 
in this building, apart from everything else outside the building, 6,000 square foot of this sports complex building was delivered for 72 euro 50 a square foot, unheard of in today's building standards. Out of that 1.2 million project, 260,000 was received in grants through the following sports capital grants, through the following sports capital grants, which huge thanks to the then Minister, Brendan Griffin, for his assistance uh, as Minister at the time, the Munster Council grants, which huge thanks to Liam Lynch, and the AEWKD leader grants, which huge thanks to Sean Linnan. Grants made up 21.66% of the project value. Incredibly, over 400,000 euro in cash donations was brought in by the club members and from the community in fundraising. Huge thanks to the fundraising team which set the tone for the project. And all this was achieved when the world was collapsing. 38.76% of the project value was raised in cash donations within the club and the community fundraising. These two figures alone bring us to 725,000 euro where every cent was managed prudently through the development account for the project. To extract maximum value these, uh, with these funds, every cent was made go longer or was saved by negotiating where possible for materials at cost price. The remaining amount of 39.58% of the project value was made up from full project management done in-house professional services negotiated and material sourced with no margin, an amazing volunteer commitment from the club members giving their time and their trade professions. Uh, I'm going to give a few examples of this so people can understand how we got on to, to, today. An example of this was Barry and Noel Dowell took on the main contract as said already, fulfilled all statutory requirements, took no margin in the contract and supplied all engineering materials at cost price. Huge credit and thanks to the Duggan family, to Shane McSweeney and his team for managing all subcontractor work, and all other professionals on the project that oversaw statutory compliance and sign-offs. Another huge example on this savings were achieved through Brendan Cronin Plantar and his full fleet of machines, drivers and family. He supplied machine after machine of all sizes would take no money, not even for diesel. And actually, I think Brendan, I think he's probably here today, he will delete my number because every time I rang Brendan, I said, this is the last show, no, Brendan. But of course, the phone calls kept going and he had to keep showing, but Brendan always came, so thank you very much. We knew the final push for the project, we required key individuals uh, within the club to build our own teams for the trades, and by God, did the club, did the club members uh, deliver. We had teams of block layers, stone masons, teams of electricians, plumbers, carpenters, teams of ventilation, tiling, painting, groundwork teams, plant machine teams, steel fabrication, cleaning teams, and of course, we had Kathleen Wright that made sure everyone got the breakfast every Saturday morning for a number of years, which was very important. Another example of this huge commitment and savings achieved was all architectural drawings, engineering, planning applications, grant applications, quantity surveyor costings, fundraising, strategy development and management, weekly accounts, bill paying, reconciling and, pro uh, and project management was all done in-house within our own development and finance committee. Incredible commitment from everyone, giving their time free to the club. For me, this was the true essence of an inclusive club working together to deliver these state-of-the-art facilities. The current and next generation of the club and wider community now have a new playing pitch State of the Art Fitness and Turn Studio under the stewardship of Shane O'Sullivan, 750 metre walking and running track with lights, new dressing rooms and therapy rooms, referees changing rooms, store rooms, skills wall, an accessible changing room, accessible toilets, and new electronic scoreboard. There is universal access for all ages and abilities throughout the new building facilities and walking way track, keeping to our word that the common GA club is a place for everyone. All old dressing rooms, toilets and shower areas are also fully refurbished. This would have not been possible without all of the volunteer support. The community support we got locally, nationally, internationally that purchased fundraising packages, Wall of Champions bricks, the main business sponsors that came on board and the grants received and the goodwill from everyone. 
If you're here today or watching online from any corner of the world, thank you. Because whatever contribution you made, no matter how small or big, it all counted. And you were all part of this success story. I would like to thank the Juvenile Club, the Ladies Club, the Senior Men's Team, and especially the Executive uh, of the Club, which gave us great support under UG's great leadership. So we thank everyone of that part of the club who were all to the forefront throughout. I also want to thank some elder figures in the club. They gave great personal support very early on in the project. All of them I just wouldn't say, drive on now. I have one last number to give and team to thank, and that's my own colleagues in the Development and Finance Committee. This committee have put in more than 10,000 man hours from their own day-to-day -day working week on various management issues for the project over the last five years. These same people went on to additionally volunteer their time by nights and weekends in the project directly. Five years we've been together as a committee with no disagreement, only an always robust work ethic behind the scenes and consensus breached on every, on every decision after respectful debate. They are incredible professional, honest giving, committed human beings that wants the best facilities for the club and the community. And I want to thank them personally and their families for giving five years of their life to deliver this project. Kikoman GA Club is the heart of the community. And now the community is at the heart of Kilcoman GA Club. We started out to deliver state-of-the-art facilities and to make sure people of all ages and all abilities can participate with equity, inclusion and enjoyment. And I think we have delivered this. Sometimes the most ordinary things can be made extraordinary with the right people. And I think the Common GA Club and our community are made up of extraordinary people. I hope you enjoyed the day and the rest of the evening. Thank you very much.
I just, I just think Paulie and the Development Committee, um, along with Yuji and Kira in particular, deserve a special round of applause for what they have done here. Um, over that period of time, um, talking to UG earlier, I just got a, a brief tour of the facility and my party mentioned 1.2 million over a five year period is an incredible uh, spend, quarter of a million euros a year on average. Um, and to have that debt free is an extraordinary achievement. Um, I know of no other club facility in this county, in Cockerley, in Rickerham, in most counties from what I'd be aware of, that have a facility of the quality, the scale, and the significance of what people come and have today. Um, part of the work we're doing at the moment, the county board is all about demographics. A big, huge problem, I suppose, with demographics and carrying and so far as the population of the county is being maintained, but is increasing in certain areas, particularly in mid carry and keep coming and coming to that um, catchment area. And I think I just mentioned the party earlier, you know, the, having a facility like that, a facility is going to be a huge challenge for, for folks in this area because of the volume of people who are going to be um, moving here, I think, over the next number of years. And something like this is going to, you know, underpin the development of the whole parish and the whole club as well. And I think having a facility like this that's inclusive, as Pauline has alluded to, you know, it's, it's, um, it's available for everyone of every ability. And I think that's a huge, huge compliment. And I think everyone, everything has been thought of um, and everything has been designed into the building to make it a long and lasting testament. So that's a huge thing for the GA, it's a huge thing for Kilcom and Parish. Um, and I think it's, it's something that's going to stand in this club um, over the years to come. Um, I don't want to detain people any longer, but I just maybe mention everybody here today as well. I come from a small club myself, and I just and I know how, how hard it is to, to raise money. Um, but you know, everybody here got behind the wheel with different initiatives and innovations, like the wall inside, like people. You know, the 250 euros per per panel was a, was a great idea and raised 100k. I think Eugene said to me. Um, so well done on that. I just. To finish up, to, 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 um, to maybe mention Eugene and Kieran in particular, I worked closely with them over the last couple of years, and the uh, are very lucky to have the chairperson and secretary of the quality um, of both people. They're, um, they're a pleasure to deal with. Um, they often rang for advice, and I have to say I often rang them for a bit of a steer and stuff with over the years. And uh, I'm very grateful for that on a personal level and indeed on, 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 from, a, from a GA perspective as well. So, um, well done to everyone. I'll, I'll finish up on that. Well done to everyone. It's, um, it's a massive, massive achievement for a club to, to, to have what we have here in front of us today. And um, all I can do is wish Kim Cullen, all the officers, all the people here, all the players that we have uh, in the club, um, who I have no doubt are going to want. Um, and, and play senior football. Maybe just to mention um, Sean O'Leary as well, and Eric, and I, I, that's something I'd like to just mention. Given um, Eric Adam, you know, had, had an awfully uh, bad accident, um, a guy with a great attitude, and someone that you know um, has a great football future ahead of him as well. And I think it is important maybe today just to mention Sean. Um, he, he was he was present in. Kilarney today, the Munster final, we defeated Cork and came down with part of the whole celebration at the end of the day. So I just wanted to uh, think and acknowledge of, of, of Sean today as well and that. Um, and on that, I conclude and just say well done to everyone again. Um, I hope this is going to be the start of something bigger, uh, which I've no doubt it will forget coming. Uh, and it is all about the people, the, the, the facilities here and also. Really, it's about developing uh, teams on the field and off the field. I've no doubt with the leadership we have with Eugene and Kira, that's um, inevitably going to happen. So, well done to everyone who's currently on there. Okay, thank you, Tim. Our next speaker is a man who many would feel actually put the common J club on the map, gave us national prominence when he became president of the G. So please welcome Sean.
which he did a great job in his five years, and is the great that his final act as county chairman in terms of performing uh, official openings, etc., is here in Kilcommon. So thank you very much. Tony also referred to the grant aid, and the grant aid is important. I think we should particularly, as he said, thank uh, Brendan Griffin, who cannot be here today, because the Minister for Sport, he certainly came up here on a few occasions, and drew out to around. President threatened him a few times to deliver, and he did deliver. But also, all the politicians contributed because without their contribution, you wouldn't have the, the goodwill to get those fundings. So, to Norma, it's great to see you here, and well done. We've been a good travel minister for education, different circumstances. Marie, our own Marie, I'm um, very proud of now the municipal mayor and also Dan Healy Ray over there with a fine number of masks on his head. So, <laughs> good to see you all here. And thank you for your help. So, in conclusion, I just want to say a wonderful day for us. It's magic and it's all because of hard work. So, now enjoy the facilities which you have created. To be more proud. Speaker, be the worst speaker 
So I, I, I don't think I can parry what came before me. But uh, I'll just be brief and say it to go. I call on behalf of uh, everybody uh, on the job. I'd like to welcome everyone here today. On the off of our bright new facilities, I'd like to welcome Tim Murphy and Flowers. We are personally in services for an amazing happening here on this year. Uh, Sean Kelly, our MEP, uh, Sean Manan, uh, we will be applying this year. Uh, all, all the volunteers, everybody who uh, will come up here today. Uh, of course, you know, we had people uh, like the corner family, the Dublin family, uh, and bring us all the way in. We had a big deal with some many distant friends. So I went to, I went to all those. So um, I'd like to welcome all the politicians uh, who uh, uh, were absolutely brilliant to us. And I'd like to congratulate our own club member, Marie Maloney, on uh, becoming mayor of Canada. Uh, I'd also like to thank you for any indebtedness along the way. We were all kicked out way back as far as many years ago when John was an old minister. And he helped us to get to our own authorities. And that was the start. Even before we started this development in Calgary. And more recently, uh, Brendan Griffin, the Minister for Sport, helped us to secure a of 120 miles. And I know all the politicians helped along the way as well. So it's with great pride for me as chairman to be part of the year, uh, of this year, of the official opening of these state of the art procedures. I think it's fair to say that everybody is excited and delighted with the outcome of this development. Uh, obviously, there's a, an abundance of people staying. This infrastructure doesn't happen overnight. So I think of the chairman that came before me in the last uh, maybe 20, 25 years, Mike McCarthy, Tim Ryan, Mike Weirden here, uh, Shane O'Callaghan, and of course, Willie Fleming, who I think eventually signed up on the new training pitch from St. Vincent's Club. So uh, it, it's great to see them here to the end. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody who helped with the fundraising and donated to this development, and to all the people who gave so freely of their time, including an array of trace people. There are far too many people to mention, maybe by name. What we have all achieved here today is a credit to the community spirit that's renowned for, for uh, being within this parish. And we thank and, uh, everyone of you today. Even the pandemic couldn't stop this parish. Always uh, adhering to the restrictions of course, volunteers turned up week after week to help out and put their money in. Uh, there are many tenants to you. And when it uh, transpired that nobody could stomach my cooking, Captain Ryan stepped in and gave us practically all of Saturdays to keep, uh, to keep us all paid. Thanks for that, Captain. <laughs> so I have to extend a special thanks to the development committee. It be led by our chairman party. And uh, I suppose look, uh, nobody uh, could imagine, could possibly imagine, so, uh, the amount of work, effort, uh, and effort, and time this group was put in to get this project over the line. Party, along with the other committee members, John Brendan O'Darty, James Foley, John Daly, Dennis Casey, John Parson. Colin Barson, James Crowley, and Patrick Gold Hunter yeah, had meetings most weeks for the last number of weeks. Most ideas, uh, pricing, planning, accounting, banking, and even cleaner baking at tables. Uh, their passion for hard work and dedication uh, that they displayed for this project was nothing short of inspiring. I really hope that everybody gets as much use and enjoyment 
our Judaism facilities as we envisage. We hope this area will be a hope of activity for the parish. I'd like to thank our my own executive who are present our tour and uh, helped me greatly along the way. Uh, I suppose I'd like to maybe to thank uh, uh, everybody who went out and gathered money and get help any way at all possible and people that helped us along the way to, to get grants and whatever. Well I'd like to thank Michael Pavel uh, from Trillie who came here with us here today and mm -hmm. signed up and all the people put on all the Netflix and all that. that uh, John Daly and his team of electricians uh, went through the night and Mike tested it and uh, signed up and he said so I'd like to thank the ladies committee who were here yesterday evening and all this morning and during the week uh, trying to uh, get things cleaned up. Uh, I'd like to thank Lady Dolan, gentlemen out there, the community of climate team and of course the buyers and workers who helped us out here all along as well. And I suppose, you know, I remember back to the late 70s and uh, up to the 80s, I suppose, and we had we had um, dressing rooms put up here with new pitch done and all that number of years. And, you know, we had a committee in place that time as well, and it was called a field, a field committee. And, you know, the people that then uh, Jean Malatke, who sadly is not with us anymore. Uh, there's a few not with us anymore, so I'll just give them a minute. So Jean Malatke was the chairman. His son Owen, of course, was on the executive committee. Couldn't be with us today because he's a wedding in Belly City. Uh, you had uh, Sean McCarthy, who's not with us anymore either. And his son, Sean, and then our daughter, he's got that with the fire ices there. Uh, in the development committee and did the accounting and all that. So it was very good. Uh, Demon Mining uh, was the secretary of that. He's no longer with us, Demon Brady Mining. He's no longer with us, but he was actually, um, you know, uh, secretary at that time. And he was, he was here for the start of this whole campaign. And uh, I remember one night coming out to the, the, the stormy meeting maybe in the staff and we were trying to get things up and running and uh, his, his famous saying like Cardi said was he was up against the bar and he had finally called me up and he cut me and he said, dry out and said, so uh, I, remember, I remember that very much of them in mind and uh, I never forget it. Right? And of course, we had other people as well, like Jerry O'Leary and Timmy Mariette. So, with that, I'm going to ask um, Tim Murphy to put the ribbon downstairs, if it stays fine. Uh, we are all going tight, and everybody can walk around the dressing rooms after, uh, maybe keeping social distancing and whatever. And uh, so, no, we, 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 we try it anyway. And uh, we have a regular set up there, Tim, maybe you could just put it in there when you are but I don't know, maybe my viewer more to say. Just finally, thank you all for coming. It's great to see such a crowd here. And uh, we had time to have it outside and then do the cutting and tape and all that sort of thing, but the weather didn't allow. But just feel free now to go, those that haven't done it already, to view the wall of champions under, inside the door, go around to the dressing rooms, go down to the dressing rooms underneath, the new dressing rooms, take a walk around the track if you like. It's, it's lit up by night, so don't be afraid to come along and do use it. Night is open from dusk, the lights are on from dusk until 10 o'clock, but it's open all day. And um, just remember as you are going around, uh, there's plenty of hand sanitizers there around, so please use them as you pass through. And thank you very much.